Hello again everyone, this is the Spartan Cannon and today I'm going to show you how to make the Covenant Vampire anti-aircraft vehicle. Okay, so first you're going to need a strong seat with super wedges on each side, super corners behind them and an L panel in the middle pointing upwards. And then in front of that you're going to need two fields, a replancher, and then two spotlights facing downwards which you're going to want to play blue to make it like blue and then you're going to need two super corners I don't know, you might want to pause it for this bit because it's hard to explain There we go. Right, you put it there, where the well, the end of the large shaft should be touching the field, super field, and do the same for that side. So now it should look like that. Some kind of lobster. I'm going to need this, which is two super ammos, two wedges pointing inwards, two cubes, another super wedge, and on each side of the cube, we're going to need two heavy poles and that'll go at the back the super field should be on each side of banjo they're going to need this shape which is going to go at the back and underneath that cube we've got to leave a gap to the for the thing the large set we should go there the heavy poles should be touching the top part of the Last wedge. Now you're going to need a torpedo aisle, and on each side of the middle part, you're going to need super ammo with super fields in front and lasers. That should go there in front of banjo. There should be a space on each side of the torpedo aisle. And now you're going to need two cubes with wedges all around them, two spikes on top, and a spotlight in front. That should go covering Banjo's head and the uh, super ammos and the torpedo. I'm going to need this shape which is a large fill, a cube above it and wedges on each side and corner, corner wedges. That should go there. And same on the other side. And now for the last bit you're going to need three cubes, a small jet which the bottom should be poking out. Another two cubes, four cubes, and wedges all the way around. That should go in that gap. So it should cover the egg gun turret. And same on the other side. And for the last bit you need just four wedges with corners, and they should go there. And that's it. There we go. It might be a bit confusing, so you'll have to pause it now and again to check. Because there's a lot of parts. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment on it. Rate it. Likey. Thumbs up. Thingy. And, yeah. Ask some more tutorials, because I find it really easy to make. So, I should be able to make one a day at the most. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.